everybody. Uh, today I got a cool little fun short video of something really exciting that came in the mail. Uh, this actually came on Valentine's Day and it's something I had ordered back in October I believe. So yeah it's been a little bit but it's funny that it came on Valentine's Day. But anyway yeah let's take a look. It is finally the Come Organization box set from Vinyl On Demand. Uh, yeah, so if you don't know, Come Org is a record label, one of the OG Power Electronics record label, um, William Bennett of White House. This was his label that he released his original work on, as well as work uh, like Sutcliffe Ugin and MB. Um, I have done a whole video actually on Come Org, so if you would like to check that out, I'll put it in the description and I would definitely really appreciate checking it out because I put a lot of work in there and I go insane editing things. <laughs> so it's definitely worth it. Um, it was really fun doing that and when I was in the midst of doing my um, kind of beginning research for that is when I finally pulled the trigger and picked this up. So. Like I said, this is from a German label, I believe, called Vinyl On Demand. Um, they have a website, and that's kind of like their shtick, is they put out like these big, huge box sets of like artists, um, like obviously Come Org, Muslim Gauze, SPK, pretty much, you know, industrial classics, um, other weird stuff too. And they just put together like CD box sets, um, record box sets. Losing my train of thought. <laughs> um, it, they're not cheap, I won't lie. Um, this box set, and they're all limited too. This was like 522, I think, copies or whatever. Um, it cost me with shipping and everything. Because I bought it, when I bought it right from the website, it appeared, it was about $312 American. Um, like 289 euros or something like that and yeah um i think it was worth it i definitely it's the most i've spent on record stuff um i definitely debated for a while but i do know when it comes to electronic music uh, especially industrial noise all that the secondhand market um market and scalpers and all that are ridiculous i think the night before i pulled the trigger i was looking at um the Sutcliffe Fugan we spit on their grave, like bootleg record set, or even the original like tape, like 10 tape collection. And it was about a grand for the thing, which is absolutely ridiculous. Even Sutcliffe Fugan is very upset about the scalper prices. So I was like, you know what? If I want this, paying 300 is more than however much it's gonna be. So who knows, maybe even up to five. But this is wicked cool. It comes with a few things, including many records. Um, I think it's seven. I'll have to count, <laughs> including um, a seven inch. And don't mind my unprofessional clothes. I just showered, so these are my comfy clothes. My Sailor Moon hoodie. <laughs> um, but yeah, one of the other cool things about this that got me really excited is that not only does it come with a bunch of records, which we'll get into, but it came with a book, the Come Org book, which most importantly, um, if you watch my video, I talk about it. William Bennett wrote a zine called the Kata zine, Kata, and this contains all the zines in one book. Um, the other interesting thing too is that if you look at the comment section on my video for the Come Org, there is a person named John Hubbard and he says that he's the person that wrote the original um, book about Come Org and White House and the Kata zines called The Birth Death Book in 1986, which is kind of like an archival book of all that stuff. And he said that he shared his archive with Vinyl On Demand to help put this out. So that is cool, you know, very big if true. And it's got, talks about records, bios, the zines. This is so cool. There's the Vinyl On Demand logo. Um, this basically did all the work that I worked on for my video. <laughs> Maybe I should have just waited and read this, right? Um, very cool stuff. Let's see. 
talks. Here we go. Talk about William Bennett. Ooh, it's got that that new book smell. It, I think it reminded me of um the very rare occasion that we had brand new textbooks or English textbooks, like the big ones for um elementary school. It's got like that that smell. I don't know. <laughs> Here's a sample of some of the zines. Very, very cool. Um, also, I'm just playing some like random Muslim gauze on my computer because my room or office is in a big state of disarray. I'm changing around everything. So maybe eventually I'll give this away for that. Um, big changes happening. It'll be very cool. But yeah, and then this came out of it. So this is like a little placard or paper that is hand signed by the man himself, William Bennett. Um, I have 511 out of 585. Okay, so I was wrong. It's not 522. It's 585 copies. Look at that. William Bean, whatever that is. <laughs> I mean, it's a nice, lovely little signature, regardless of how it is. Oh, and it's gold. So yeah, that's really cool. Um, I was This was like a big selling factor for me as a book because I love that stuff. I actually had just, I picked up tonight actually for I filmed this. Um, finally, someone on Discogs had put up the Zane label, Vinyl On Demand, that had released um, the Muslim Gauze biography CD collection. Uh, I think it's called Chasing the Shadow of Brian Jones. Burn Jones? Is it Burn? I think it's Burn. I'm silly. <coughs> Excuse me. Also, it came with this really nice quality poster. Very cool. Excuse me for that cut. I had something in my throat. Dry throat. But yeah, this came with this really quality poster. Um, I know a lot of people like posters from records and stuff. I like them. I might actually hang this up because I need stuff for my walls for my new room. And you can't really tell, but this is like really thick plasticky paper. It's kind of like um, the backing on stickers, you know, that like plastic film stuff or like the paper in sticker books, like those old books that used to keep stickers in. I used to love that. So yeah, this it's really big. Monday White House pamphlet, and I think it says, um, uh, and it helps strip away, hold on. And it helps strip away your inhibition. The second coming is the best of it. Yeah, the second coming is the best. And lovely lady in dress on here. It's tall. Very, very cool. Wicked cool. Folds up nicely. Yeah, I'm probably going to hang it up. Maybe I'll hang it up right above my reading area. <laughs> um, get a little frame for it. But yeah, that was nice. But of course, it's important part besides our big box and our big book is the records, which also come in a book. I didn't expect this, honestly. I wasn't sure because this was my first vinyl on demand, but it looks like this might be how they do their box sets. Um, they do them almost like a big binder kind of thing. This is... Um, a big book. So basically this came in, all the records were in that little plastic bag that I had the um, poster in. And you basically have to put them in the book that came empty in the box set. And I thought it was just going to be like a box with the se ugh, separate records in it, but it's not. It's like a book. You know, these really glossy records in them. And the records are anything special. They are on black. And they have pretty standard labels. Let's see if I can bring this down. Um, the sleeves are nice, though. They aren't, like, paper sleeve. They got, like, the almost, like, mofi inner sleeve covering. So that's cool. Uh, yeah. So, this first thing they give you is Come Presents Rampton. I think this is the only, like... Come, well, there's two Come releases, but this one has pretty much everything that Come recorded um, as a group on record and the other thing that justifies the price of this box set um is a, that glare Ooh. <laughs> um is a lot of this stuff especially this in particular it's extremely rare it goes on and off ban for discogs for some reason um people don't sell them and if they do they scalp the price to hell 
it's just hard to get. So, what, I mean, some of these records alone are like $100, if not more, on secondhand market. So it's definitely cool. Very, very cool to have from one of my favorite labels. Um, and if you didn't know, once again, this is all power electronics, noise, dark ambient, um, Nazi recordings mixed in with dark ambient, all the, you know, the kind of stuff you expect. It's all very good, though. I... Common Organization, William Bennett, Sutcliffe Yugen, MB, all the Nurse of Wound. They know how to make Power Electron. They know how to make Industrial. They know how to make the real deal. It's also good. This is the second coming. Uh, White House, Nurse of Wound, come. Nice little compilation. Uh, that one is. This is the, um, that's the title. It's very long. It's based off the Marquise de Sade, obviously. Um, I think I can show this. On YouTube, there's no like genitalia. I mean, the little pubis there. That's about it. That that's not a penis. That's a hand. Um, this is William Bennett and Stephen Stapleton. Nurse of Wounds. Um, kind of split. There's only two tracks on each side, and they're both very interesting. You can obviously tell who's who, but they both bring something really good to the table. As you can see, it's kind of hard. It gets kind of hard to turn because you're basically it's a binder full of. Um, records and record sleeves kind of glued in there. That's the binding though. It looks like it's gonna hold decently. Okay, Red for Red Light District. Um, nobody knows quite sure who this is, but it's more than likely like William Bennett and um, Steven Stapleton again. It's pretty obvious. <laughs> okay, more come. Come three. Um, I'm actually not quite sure what is on this one. Total six. And I think this is just a cum org compilation again. And it has stuff from one of the cum releases, like I'm Jack, which I believe JG Thurwell is originally on that release as well. Um, the Charles Manson clip is in there. A clip from Bradford's Red Light District. Yeah. Okay, White House Spookenwalds. Um, so, <laughs> this is not what the cover originally looks like, but. You know, I don't mind the little revisions. I do know, because this is made in Germany, I think there are a few minor edits, especially to the MB stuff, so a few of like the silly little dumb Nazi clips in there that they were meant to be for obnoxious anyway and kind of silly that they did in the first place um, were cut, which is fine. The music is still fantastic. Um... I, know, I gotta look, because they changed some of the covers on these. White House, New Britain! That one is a bit hard to find, so that's cool that we have that. Uh, this is very cool, yeah, for Ils Cook. So this is another, like, come org comp fun time stuff going on. Um, this might be one of my second favorite thing to have in this comp compilation, in <laughs> this box set. This is White House, Psychopathia Sexualis. Sexualis? Um, the first White House release, um, and I believe so. I could be having a brain fart right now. I believe this is the first White House release. Um, it's excellent, whatever it is. The original is so hard to find. Um, even bootleg records are expensive and hard to find. Um, yeah, just great, great White House. <laughs> now this, this is my favorite thing that um, is in this box set. This alone is really hard to find, very expensive. Um, sometimes it's almost gone for how much the whole box set itself costs. This is Right to Kill, which this is the record that kind of started the whole come org thing essentially because William Bennett tried to bring this to Rough Trade to sell and they gave him a big old hard time about it. This is one of the many records that's dedicated to a serial killer and this one is dedicated to Dennis Andrew Nilsson, which if you don't know who he is, um, you should read about him. It's a wild ride. <laughs> I think when I first read about him, I read the Dennis Cooper's Frisk right after, and it kind of like, I don't know, it kind of worked together in my mind. I was on a little bit of a binge of certain types of serial killers. <laughs> this sounds great. This is one of the first White House releases I ever listened to, and I'm just so happy to have it on vinyl. It's so cool. Wicked cool. Yeah, look at that. And then... They give you a little, um, 7-inch for the back. Oop. And this is, I actually don't know 
examples of cannibalism, and I actually don't know what this is, but it's very cool to have. So yeah, those are all the records. That's the book. And it fits nicely into our little box. Let's see, vinyl on demand release 157. And then let's get our book in here. And the poster went like right here, I think, but I'm gonna hang it up and I keep it out. This is heavy too. Um, probably have to put it in the bottom shelf of my record shelf so it doesn't bow anything. I do use the calyx shelf and I'm lucky that nothing's bowed yet. It's been pretty good. Um, although I got a cheap bookshelf from Ikea and that's been bowing. <laughs> So, I wouldn't suggest cheap bookshelves. But yeah, um, I don't think you can get this from the website anymore. I'm not sure. I'll link their website down below anyway. Um, I already know it's already a little bit more expensive. Other websites that are like, oh, we found a super secret copy that was hiding in someone's closet, supposedly. <laughs> and they've already marked it up about like 50 bucks. So, good luck. This is worth it. I think this is wicked cool. Um... Someone complained that they still haven't, someone complained special interests, which don't go there unless they're like necro posting to death, but the sound quality wasn't great, but I mean, you know, if you're like caring about sound quality on like power electronics, who the fuck cares? <laughs> it's fine. They sound good. <laughs> um, pardon my French, but anyway, yes. Thank you for watching and, you know, listen to good music, listen to loud angry music. That's what it's all about, right? <laughs> Alright. Thank you. Bye-bye. Oh, and watch that Come Org video, please.